I'd like to now show you the muscles of the forearm that cause movements at the wrist, hand, and fingers. I'm going to start with the anterior compartment. To give you an orientation, here we see the pollicis and the fifth digit, the pinky finger. I'm going to move superiorly and I'm going to start with the pronator teres. I like to think of P for pronator and P for pointing because it seems to me like it's pointing at the brachioradialis. The pronator teres has its origin on the medial epicondyle <clears throat> of the humerus and its insertion is the lateral radius. Its action is to pronate and flex the forearm. Moving in a uh, medial fashion towards the pinky side if we're thinking about the anatomical position after the pronator, we're going to see this muscle, the flexor carpi radialis. Its origin is the medial epicondyle of the humerus, and its insertion is at the base of the second and third metacarpals. Its tendon can be easily seen and is a guide to actually take the pulse from the radial artery, which is shown here. The next muscle, moving more medially towards the fifth digit, is the palmaris longus. The palmaris longus has its origin on the medial epicondyle of the humerus and inserts on the palmar aponeurosis. Its action is to tense the skin and fascia of the palm and it is a weak flexor of the wrist. The last muscle that I'm going to show you for the anterior muscle group of the forearm is the flexor carpi ulnaris. Its origin is also the medial epicondyle of the humerus, and its insertion is the pisiform and hamate and fifth metacarpal. Its action is to flex the wrist and adducts the hand.